Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we're going to grab some bag frozen shrimp, which most of us almost always have on hand, and we're going to create a super delicious recipe. We're talking a one pan shrimp and rice dinner. Now the beauty of this dish, besides the fact that it's super easy to make and made with the simplest ingredients, is that it comes together in about 30 minutes, yet the flavors feel like they've been simmering for hours. Once again proving that less is more and sometimes the simple things are the best things. Folks, serve this rice dish next to a garden salad, a crunchy baguette, and of course a bottle of Spanish wine. You're gonna have yourself the best moment of your day. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna roughly chop one medium sized onion and thinly slice five cloves of garlic. For this recipe, I'm using a typical yellow onion, but you can use whatever type of onions you like. Then we'll add the chopped ingredients into the hot fry pan. And we'll mix them around. That way they're all cooled in the olive oil. And since we cut the onion and garlic into larger pieces, you don't have to mix this around continuously, but do get in there every minute or so. That way everything evenly sautes. In the meantime, let's start getting our rice ready. I'm gonna add in one cup of long grain rice into a fine sieve, which is 190 grams, and rinse the rice under some water until it starts running clear underneath, which takes about one to two minutes. For this recipe, you can use whatever type of rice you like. You just make sure to check the rice package instructions. That way your liquid to rice ratios and your cooking times are right on the money. After five to six minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, and that garlic is beautifully fragrant, we'll add in the rinsed rice, along with one teaspoon of dried oregano, which is one gram, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is half a gram, and half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.25 grams. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, and we'll give it a mix until it's well mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. Link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in one and a half cups of water, which is 360 milliliters. You can also use chicken broth here, or even veggie broth if you like. I just prefer to use the water here, that way that liquid doesn't overpower the flavors of the dish. And then we'll turn it up to a high heat and give it a gentle mix. Once it comes to a boil, we'll place the lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low heat. While the rice is simmering, let's start prepping our shrimp. I'm going to add in one pound of raw jumbo shrimp over some paper towels, which is 450 grams, and pat the shrimp completely dry. For this recipe, I'm using red Argentinian shrimp, I bought frozen and thawed out, and already peeled and deveined. However, you can use whatever type of frozen shrimp you like here. And then we'll season the shrimp with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And you just have to do this on one side. Okay, let's move back to the simmering rice. After about 10 minutes, you can see the majority of that liquid has been absorbed by the rice. We'll remove the lid and add the shrimp over the rice. You want to make sure they're on a single layer and evenly spaced out. And then we'll place the lid back on the pan and simmer this for another five to eight minutes until all that water has been absorbed by the rice. After a total cooking time of 15 to 18 minutes on the rice and all the water has been absorbed, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we'll leave our rice to rest with the lid on just for a few minutes. You know, by trapping that steam in there, it's gonna ensure that each grain of rice and the shrimp are perfectly cooked through. After two to three minutes, we'll remove the lid and using a fork, we'll gently fluff the rice. This is not only gonna help separate the grains of rice, but it's also gonna ensure that all the ingredients are well mixed together. And you can serve this directly out of the pan or transfer it into some serving dishes. Either way, check it out. Our one pan shrimp and rice dinner is done. Easy to make, the simplest ingredients, and all done in about 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. 
Seriously, folks, hard to believe you grabbed some frozen shrimp and a couple other basic ingredients, and we got something that looks this good. Can't wait to try this. Here we go. Check that out. That right there is truly right on the money. The rice is beautifully cooked. It sort of all the flavors in the pan. And once again, it's so important to check the packing instructions in the rice you're using. That way your liquid to rice ratios and your cooking times are right there. Uh, the spices in there was give it that lift of goodness. And of course, those shrimp that just melt in your mouth, take this to the next level. Easy to make, heart healthy ingredients. Give it a try at home. Once again, next to a garden salad, a crunchy baguette, and of course, a bottle of Spanish wine. You can have yourself the best moment of your day. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Holly Parker, Rogelio Junior Rivera, Elaine Engros, and Kelly Larang. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. Then we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time. Hasta luego.